Hey fellas, me Trapper here. Today I'm going to show you my initial test results with Clint Locklear's Tactical Nuke. So stay tuned. <laughs> Now a lot of trappers are deer hunters, but not a lot of deer hunters are trappers. Trappers know what quality lure, bait, and scent really is. Because we use real animal glands um, and we're very particular about our baits and lures. Deer hunters on the other hand will buy pretty much any crap, put it out, and hope to attract a deer. And if a deer comes by, um, then they take that as evidence that the product worked and if it doesn't come by then well maybe there weren't deer in the area. But I can state with a great degree of confidence that there is nowhere near the quality of ingredients put in deer attractants that are put into trapping lures. Now you take somebody like Clint who is a master lure maker and you take his attention and put it on to making deer attractants then you've got some real possibility for something. He's uh, opened up a new line of product, and I've been testing uh, one that's called Tactical Nuke. Tactical Nuke is a powder, uh, it's an additive that you add to baits, such as, uh, you know, corn, uh, sweet feed, whatever it is that you're baiting deer with, you can add this attractant to it. And what it does is it supercharges the attractant. On this particular test, I took a one-gallon Ziploc bag of corn, regular whole corn, deer corn, I put one teaspoon of pawpaw flavored tactical nuke into that bag, shook it up to uh, coat the corn, and then I poured it out on the ground and put a game cam in front of it. I came back three or four days later just to do my first check to see if the deer had found uh, the bait station yet. And this is only one gallon of corn. And I wanna show you what I found. Now there is my camera. Right here is where I had the gallon of corn. Now, this is an incredible amount of work that has gone in to digging up the ground where that corn is. All I did was put the corn on the ground. A lot of times when I put out some corn like this, because I will, I will put corn out in front of cameras a lot of times to get and uh, animals in front of the camera a lot of times you'll come back and the corn is just gone or there's pieces of the corn left um, you know but it's been picked over or whatever sometimes if they really hit it hard you can see some of the leaves might have been you know moved or disturbed there might be some uh, you know working down into the leaves this has just been annihilated and I hope you can see this because you can see the deer tracks all in here where they have dug the dirt up. They've actually pawed into this dirt. And I didn't put anything under it. I just poured I poured one gallon of corn out in a little circle on top of the leaves and walked off. That's all I did. I don't know what is in this stuff, but they have gone crazy. I have never seen such a small amount of corn generate such an incredible response from deer. And this is not manipulated in any way. This is pouring corn out on the ground, a gallon of corn coming back three days, four days later, and just seeing it completely annihilated. And I can see why he calls it tactical nuke, because it looks like a little bomb went off. Now, hopefully this camera caught something on it, uh, this is kind of a, a high theft area. We're right on the bank of a river here, and there are a lot of people going up and down this river, so I was not going to put my Reconics or my Brownings or my good cameras out, so I used an old, cheap uh, Moultrie camera, $50 camera. I don't have a whole lot of confidence in it, but hopefully it caught something. So uh, we'll get it home, crack it open, and see what Now the first thing I want you to notice is the timestamp on this clip. 28 February, 5.51 p.m. I put this corn out at approximately 3 p.m. that day 
on February the 28th. In other words, three hours after I put the corn on the ground, the deer had already found it and they were already consuming the corn. Now over the next 72 hours, I had 267 video clips recorded on that little one area where I had one gallon of corn dumped out on the ground. Out of those 267 clips, three had raccoons in the frame. In other words, the vast majority of the activations of the video camera were caused by deer and not by raccoons. What this tells me is that the tactical nuke pawpaw overwhelmingly attracts deer and not coons, which I found very, very interesting. Well, fellas, I, uh, I think the results speak for themselves. I have never seen a deer attractant work that dramatically and that fast. I am completely sold on Tactical Nuke. Uh, this product is available in other uh, varieties and flavors. I have not tested uh, the other ones. I've just worked with the Paw Paw, and this was the first um, test pile that I put out. But I can assure you, it's not going to be my last. If you like what you've seen and you like more of it, uh, please visit patreon.com slash meat trapper and consider becoming a supporter of my channel. Uh, for a $5 a month contribution, you can unlock bonus content, including my resistance trapping series. And I think uh, we're up to episode eight or nine now. And that is trapping from a militia or a wartime situation without traditional baits, lures, and trappers tools. You also will have access to all back episodes of Meat Trapper Radio, and we're coming up on 88, uh, 88 episodes or so of Meat Trapper Radio now, and that's the only place that uh, those old episodes are available. But thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe or hit the like button, and we'll see you next time.